got enough. All right, everyone, here we are. I can apparently. Hello. All right. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Brewing with Bobby and Minka. Um, I'm going to give people a few minutes to join, and then we're going to talk about um, whipped coffee or Dalgona coffee today. Uh, this was one of your... Um, uh, customers who wanted us to demonstrate how to make this and uh, put our own little spin on it. Um, I confess I had no idea what this was until literally last week when one of you told me, hey, do the Korean coffee thing. And I was like, I don't even know what that is. Um, here we are today and I'm doing the uh, Korean coffee thing. So, um, while we're waiting for people to jump online, a couple quick um, updates and shout outs. Um, first one, uh, our Santa Monica shop continues to trug along. Um, so if you're in the area or you're just coming in to um, see the ocean or whatever, come stop by, get a coffee. Everyone's got masks on, we got gloves, and we're still trying to keep the lights on there. Other places that are keeping the lights on, and for you guys, uh, Found Coffee in Eagle Rock, Confidential Coffee out in uh, Long Beach. We have um, Cafe Aficionado in Northridge, Yang's uh, kitchen in Alhambra sells our coffee, but go there for the food. The food is phenomenal. Constellation out in La Cañada. Yeah, Handy Market, if you're out in Burbank, they just reopened. Go buy some groceries and get some coffee there. And then Reverend Coffee Bar out in uh, Rolling Hills Estates. Um, so uh, those are the shout outs there. And then um, as always, feel free to fire off any comments or if you have um, thoughts, questions, Whatever you guys want, we're, we're always here to, we like to have this more as a conversation um, as, we, as we go along. So, as I mentioned, I had never made whipped coffee before. I hadn't even heard of it until last week. So, this is all new territory for me. Um, it's super easy to make. Uh, you need three ingredients. You need instant coffee. And we sell those in four packs or as singles. And they come in these cool little vials. You just drop it in there. Um, Minka's on the back of our little uh, four pack, by the way. This is you, noodles. Uh, so, equal parts, uh, what did it say? Minka, what a beauty. Uh, equal parts instant coffee, sugar, and hot water. And you're gonna put that into some kind of, um, you need like some kind of whisk blender type thing. I have a standing mixer. Uh, I didn't have a hand mixer. I think a hand mixer would probably work a little bit easier for this. Um, I made a ton of mistakes trying to figure out how to get this to turn into what I wanted it to turn into. And I think there's a few things to keep in mind. If you're, if you're going to use a stand, a stand, like one of those big kitchen stand mixers, you, it comes with this gigantic bowl like this, you need to use enough product to give it some, some volume so that the, the whisk thing can get in there and, and pump the air into it. Otherwise, you just end up with goop. Um, hi. So that's, that's one one do not do i made a lot of mistakes here other things you probably don't want to try that totally failed for me do not try to mix this with chocolate i tried to do like a chocolatey version of this and it just would not froth up for me and i don't know if it's just the alkaline and the chocolate uh, but definitely do not try to do the chocolate um and then i think there's something to be said for using really 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 bad instant coffee which we don't sell but I think if you use like the really cheap Folger stuff, it'll probably work a little bit easier because the, the better the quality of the coffee, I think the harder it is for the chemicals to sort of bind and turn into this little um, meringue type thing. So even with, with, without messing with it too much, I never quite got it to be that super frothy, like, you know, oozy thing that you see on, on Instagram everywhere now. So use the cheapest Folgers you can find because I really think that makes a difference and don't get too creative with it trying to mix different things in it because I think it messes up the chemicals. So that being said, we're going to, I'm not going to make it because no one wants to hear me standing around watching a hand, a standing hand blender thing go for five, 10 minutes. So I have prepared everything for you already and we're just going to go through sort of the finishing touches here today. Um, I did two versions. I did sort of your standard version with a couple extra spices and we'll finish it with full milk. 
And then I have a, a, a version I made with hojicha, which is um, one of my favorite ingredients to use with coffee these days. Hojicha is roasted matcha. So it's, it's matcha, but it has a little bit more depth of flavor. And I like that a little bit more than just your straight up matcha. Although I did make this with matcha and it was, it was pretty good as well. So the first version, um, we're gonna take uh, whole milk here and we're going to um, put some ice at the bottom. And then I used, um, I used instant coffee. Uh, I put a little bit of cinnamon and cardamom in here to give it some extra aromatics. And, and then once you hit it with that hot water, it's just, you get all these, all these flavors. Um, and I just use regular powdered sugar on this one. I've tried other sugars. It works with other sugars. Not as well as with just your standard white sugar. Um, it takes just a little bit more. So I've used Demerara. I use honey powder, which we'll get to in a minute. Hi, you want a treat? Okay. Treat. Okay. So once you once you mix everything together, turn on your hands your hand blender and just let it rip for like five minutes. The longer you blend this for, the better it's going to turn out. And so when you're when it's all said and done, you get this like really pretty goopy mess which is actually I really did not I don't I'm not a super trendy kind of person but um, it's pretty good I'm not gonna lie especially when you add the cinnamon and the cardamom into this it gives you a really nice aromatic flavor that cuts through the milk gives you some sweetness and just gives you a really nice flavor um, this is a fun ingredient to play with I'm not gonna lie I've seen uh, in my research, I think the New York Times made a tiramisu cake using this instead of espresso. I would love to try that, um, but I'm not much of a baker. So if anyone out there is a baker, definitely uh, try to make this with um, the tiramisu. Let me know if that, that turns out right. So you can see it just sits on top of the milk really, really pretty like that. Um, I don't know if you can tell. Here we go. So you can see kind of you get those nice layers. It kind of drips down on the bottom. I'm wondering if people want us to make this at the cafe and uh, you know, have this as a drink option. So cinnamon, cardamom, whole milk, um, and then I would add a little bit of um, action to this on top. If I could get the bag to open. But I'm shaving a little bit of pecan or if you have macadamia, that would be really sweet too. Jesus, what did you do with this bag? Um, there we go. So I like to shave a little bit of nuts on top of uh, on top of drinks. I think it adds a nice flavor and a little bit of texture. In case you need more texture on this already pretty textured drink. And there you have it. So you're gonna get a little bit of a pecan. You're gonna get a little bit of um, cinnamon, cardamom, and then the dalgona, which is just like a super sweet almost like um has like almost like a marshmallowy texture to it can you use almond or oat milk you can use any kind of milk you want it doesn't really matter at all um i think because you're not mixing the dalgona you're not mixing the milk into the actual dalgona coffee thing so whatever milk you want to put this on top of totally cool um and it's it's quite nice it has a nice frothiness to it it's it's really it has just like, it's almost, um, yeah, it's almost like having like a coffee marshmallow on top of your coffee. So that's really nice. I like the pecans on it. I think it adds a little bit of texture to it, a little bit of flavor. So that's, that's one sort of demi toss twist on this. Um, the next one got a little complicated. I tried a few different variations on this and I kind of like what we ended up on with at the end here. So I took hojicha powder, like I said, um, the better the hojicha, the better this will turn out. We use a tablespoon of this into our Dalgona mix. So you're gonna do two tablespoons of instant coffee, two tablespoons of sugar, and then two tablespoons of hot water, and then one tablespoon of hojicha powder. Drop that in there. But instead of sugar, I used honey powder. Um, and then I just whipped the thing to death. And you don't get quite the same level of frothiness. It's almost a goop. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but I really like the way this tastes. And then I thought I would mix it up. So I took some coconut milk instead of uh, honey powder, instead of regular milk. Where'd my spoon go? So, so honey powder, hojicha, sugar, instant coffee. And then 
like you can see, it's not as thick and it won't sit as pretty on top. But I'm wondering if I had just not been so impatient and if I just kept whipping it for like another five, 10 minutes, if maybe it would have turned into something with some, some thicker peaks. But I really do like the way this tastes a lot better. I like the, the honey syrup isn't, or the honey powder isn't quite as sweet. The hojicha gives it this rich, rich matcha -y sort of almost, um, well, like almost like an umami bite to it, which I really, really like. And then we're gonna add this to uh, some coconut milk. And then to garnish it, take a lime, take your grater, and you're just gonna put a little bit of lime zest on top of it to give it um, a little brightness, a little sweetness, uh, something fresh in those aromatics. So you have the, the really rich, deep notes inside of the uh, hojicha powder, uh, the super sweetness of the Dalgona syrup, and then you just shave a little bit of lime on top of that and it gives you this bright freshness. So you have all these contrasting flavors and textures. Um, get some questions here. Can I post the recipe and links? Yes, I will try to post all this stuff online um, as soon as we're done here. Um, but the lime and the hojicha really work well together and you get this really nice contrast of coconut milk and rich thickness of the hojicha and the dalgona with a zesty lime on top of it. It's, it's, quite, um, it's quite refreshing and in this day and age where we're, we're kind of stuck at home and we can't travel, this is the closest thing you're gonna to get to a tropical, uh, tropical paradise in my opinion. So just maybe put on, a, put on a television show watching the Caribbean or something and enjoy your drink. That is really, really good. Um, I'm a big fan of this this mix. Um, I tried it with matcha as well, and it, it's good with matcha powder, but I really just, I in general prefer the hojicha to the matcha. Um, we, we serve a lot of hojicha drinks in our shops because I just think it's great. And that's it. So we have two versions of Dalgona, uh, sort of regular and, and super jazzed up for the tropics. Um, and that is, that is our, uh, our demonstration today. Your dog is too funny. She is a very funny girl. Um, she likes her goodies. Um, so yeah, so this was, uh, this was a, a suggestion by one of you guys. I would love to hear more from you in terms of what you guys want us to do on these things. I'm honestly running out of ideas. Uh, so if you guys have, um, ingredients at home you want me to play with, Hey, I have, you know, a mountain of, I don't know, carrots. Can you make, can you make a coffee drink out of carrots? I promise you I'll figure something out. So fire away any suggestions, email us. We are always looking to interact. We'd like to have this more as a conversation than anything else. And, and just trying to find ways of making your daily coffee routine a little bit more fun, a little bit more interesting. Um, and we'll go from there. Um, so, uh, yeah, let me know what other, um, what are the questions you guys have? Um, I also want to remind everybody that um, because some of our cafes are closed, we would love to um, help help out the baristas who aren't um, able to uh, work. And uh, so we have an online tip jar uh, in our last newsletter that went out. But if, if you guys need that link, let me know and I'll send that out. Uh, so we're asking some people are asking for matcha lattes, hojicha lattes. I can do both of those. Yeah, definitely make that happen. Hi, right, you want more goodies? Got it. Um, we'll probably do a couple more coffee cocktails. Um, if you guys didn't catch that one, we did a whole series of amaretto-based coffee drinks, and that was that was a ton of fun for people. Um, and if you guys make any of these at home, please um, tag us. Let me know what you guys do. If you guys try it with the hojicha, if you if you do it with the cardamom and cinnamon, um, let me know how all that works for you guys. We would love to um, just see how people are doing what we teach at home. Uh, so yeah, that's it for today. Uh, again, keep keep coming with the suggestions and other things you guys want us to do. More coffee cocktails, it will definitely make that happen. And yeah, that's it for today with coffee. And I will see you guys either. Uh, oh, more questions, awesome. Do you think foaming work would would work faster with cold water? I don't think foaming would work better with cold water because I think you want the hot water to dissolve the sugar and the uh, instant coffee. Um, in particular, some brands of instant coffee don't dissolve very well with cold water. So I would definitely make sure you're using hot water, especially to, to melt that sugar and dissolve the sugar. So that would, I would, 
What's up, Jam? How's it going? Uh, so I would definitely uh, make sure you use hot water, not cold water. Although I've seen recipes with cold water, so I, I think I would definitely, um, definitely make sure you're using hot water to melt that. Can I use instant or something? I think you can use any instant coffee you can find. I've even seen recipes where you brew like super concentrated coffee, maybe, um, you know, AeroPress espresso like we did last week, and then whipping that for, I already have to whip it for like 15 minutes to get it to peak, but um, it can be done with even just super concentrated coffee at the end of the day. But I think any kind of instant would totally work. Um, obviously we're plugging our own, our own instant coffee, but I think any instant coffee that you find in the store would totally work fine for this. Um, so yeah, I hope everyone's doing well. I hope everyone is, um, is healthy and staying safe. Um, here you go. I think the important thing to make kits, people don't have coffee at home can do it. Yeah, we definitely have kits. We have a whole, so, uh, um, jam here is, brings up a good point. We have a whole build your own brew kit site. So if you go to our website, we have a little sub site where you can go in and build your own home brew kit. And as you add things to that site, you get discounts. Um, so check that out. We have all kinds of fun things on that site where you can just build, you know, coffee filters and coffee beans and brewers and cups and mugs and all kinds of fun things and build into this giant home brew kit that you get at home, which I think is a lot of fun. Um, so definitely check that out. Uh, the sudden instant coffee is so good. I think so too. Uh, you know, we, a quick, quick bit about the instant coffee. We, um, we weren't believers in instant coffee at all because most instant coffee is pretty disgusting. Um, but this, uh, we got to make instant coffee with our own coffee. So we sent uh, this company called Sudden Coffee, our coffee. And I think they just brew it really quickly and freeze dry and then pack it into these cool little vials in this little four pack. And then, um, makes really good coffee. I mean, when I travel, I used to take a whole, you know, brewers and grinders and all this stuff. And, and given the you know, travel size restrictions, I stopped doing that because I could just take, you know, a handful of these instant coffee vials and you are good to go. And you can definitely buy our instant coffee on our website. Just go go there and, and check that out. It's super, uh, it's surprisingly tasty. Um, so I would definitely, definitely just hop on our website or come into the cafe and pick it up there as well. Um, how do I get those for me? Yeah, so the instant coffee, like I said, is, is available on our website and definitely use the coupon or discount code that we pinned today. The, the code for today is whip it. So whip it good and get yourself 15% uh, off on our site. Um, all right, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be back on Tuesday with uh, something new. And if you guys have more suggestions, we can um, try new things and send me a uh, Send me ideas, send me ingredients, say, you know, whatever it is that you guys have laying around at home. I'm sure I can make something, co a coffee drink out of that. You'd be amazed at the coffee drinks I've, I've managed to create over the years. We've even done stuff with avocado. So um, keep sending that to us and we will be back on Tuesday. Thanks everyone.